Welcome to the iSports Analysis Create Code Window and Update Code Window Overview. If we look at our Create Code Window page, we can see that we have the option here to add action or tag. If we click on our code window area, we can see we have the option here of naming our action or tag, defining whether this is an action or a tag. We can create a lead-in time, we can create duration times for this particular action, and we can color this action. We can also have keyboard shortcuts, what we call a hotkey for this particular action. For this demonstration, I will just create a simple action. And what I will do is create another simple action And I will, in this particular instance, change the color. So we now have two actions, a home possession and a away possession. And we can add a connector that defines what happens if either of these actions are pressed. Um, the connector types that we have are activation, deactivation, and exclusive. If we select exclusive and we save that, that would mean that home possession is exclusively highlighted and away possession is exclusively highlighted. We would never have a point in any given match where home possession and away possession are highlighted together. So we can see how we can start to build up a code window. What I would like to do is just move on into update code window where we have a code window I would like to show you because this demonstrates the detail with which we can go into. If I look into this, we can see all of the codes, uh, all of the actions, all of the tags, and the way they're connected here. And as you can see, there are no limits to the number of actions, the number of tags, and there are no limits to the way they are connected to each other. Thank you very much for watching.